Climate change over time can be measured in a variety of ways. Scientists have drilled thousands of feet into the Antarctic ice to test the air that was trapped as bubbles when falling snow was compressed to form the ice. Carbon dioxide levels have gone up and down in cycles of about 100,000 years. Scientists also have a way to measure the temperature at those times. They found that when the CO2 levels are high, the temperature goes up and at no time have the CO2 levels been as high as they are now. Another way is by looking at the rings of trees. The following activity from the Paleontological Research Institution in Ithaca is called Climate and a Tree Stump. It shows what you can learn about the environment and climate from tree rings. You can do these activities outdoors if you can find a tree stump with visible tree ring. Or you can do it indoors using this picture, which can also be printed off from the attached resource sheet. Each year a tree grows a new ring under its bark as it gets thicker and grows taller. If you find a tree stump, you can tell how old the tree was when it was cut down by counting the rings. But the rings tell us much more than the tree's age. They can also tell us something about the climate while the tree was growing. The thickness of a tree ring depends on the climate conditions during the summer. Trees grow more during warm, wet summers, making wider rings, and less during cold, dry summers, making narrower rings. Tree rings can also tell stories about extraordinary events that happened during the tree's life that were big enough to have affected the tree's growth. For example, fires can leave scars in a tree's rings. Scientists who study tree rings are called dendrochronologists. Dendro meaning trees, chronology meaning timeline. Use this picture of a tree cookie, a slice through a tree, to answer the following questions. How many years old was the tree when it was cut? Let's say that this tree was cut this year. Find the ring that grew during the year you were born. Was it a cool, dry year or a warm, wet year? How do you know? In what year of growth was the climate the coolest and driest? In what year of growth was the climate the warmest and wettest? Now let's move on to making a tree ring timeline. To do this with the picture of the tree cookie, fold the tree cookie picture in half, making sure to go through the center of the picture, and place it on another sheet of paper. Or, as is done here, place a sheet of paper over the tree cookie picture. To do this with a tree stump outdoors, or with a real tree cookie, place a sheet of paper on top of the stump so that one edge of the paper goes out from the center of the stump towards the outside of the stump. With a pencil, place a small tick mark on the paper to mark the position of each tree ring. Remove the paper. You now have a series of tick marks. Extend these lines so they are about three quarters of an inch long. With a ruler, draw a line connecting each tick mark. It should look similar to this picture. Label each year and you have now made a timeline. Scientists can learn about past climate from studying tree rings. While tree rings alone cannot tell the whole story of climate, knowing about what types of environments different trees lived in helped to put the rest of the story together. When trees live near the edge of their habitat range, they are more susceptible to changes in temperature and rainfall. When multiple trees from multiple habitats across the globe are studied, climate reconstructions from trees tell an amazing story of the history of the Earth's climate. Thank you to the Paleontological Research Institution for making their teacher-friendly guide to climate change available online. For more information about climate change, please contact them or your local Cornell Cooperative Extension office.